cycle 21 and I'll tell you a little bit about this cycle this cycle was extremely difficult like really really hard like that's why I didn't make a video last week because I was in a really really bad 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 really horrible place and I couldn't shake it for anything in the world and you know of course a lot of people were like announcing their pregnancies and I was just feeling sorry for myself and just feeling down and low and um, I was just hurting real bad y'all started to get, get to me like really really bad because it just seems like I'm trying all these different things and you know nothing is working and so you know I just you know was like watching a lot of documentaries and trying to see what I can do to help myself and you know I don't know and just until I you know get to the doctor of course and I did find a women's clinic that has um, a, a um, program where they do like a fertility check and so once I get an appointment I'm gonna check them out and of course I'll let you guys know and so and then also I wanted to try acupuncture and so but I won't do the acupuncture until um, I go to the doctor first to see what the issue is and then I'll try acupuncture. I'm just trying as many natural methods as I possibly can and um, what's interesting is that I came across a, a documentary that I've seen before and I just wanted to go back to it because as you guys see um, I, I'm struggling with my weight. I'm just going to put it on out there. It's a huge, huge, huge struggle for me and um, I just wanted to get some ideas on what I can do to make myself a little bit more healthier because it's not just about working out, you know, you have to eat healthy and stuff. And um, I was watching this documentary um, called Fat Sick and Almost Dead, something like that. I think they're showing it on YouTube for free for a short time, so I'll link it down below um, so that you can take a look at it. And it was this guy, he was like about almost 300 pounds and he had like some autoimmune diseases that he was going through and he decided to go on a juice fast for um 60 days and he lost all his weight and he just pretty much healed himself where to the point where he didn't have to use any medication or anything and he was just going around the country the united states trying to encourage people um to juice and the benefits of juicing and so um of course i scoured the youtube the find out like different ideas and stuff and I'm a huge smoothie person and so I decided to make green smoothies and so I went to the store and well first I did some research on the benefits of different fruits and vegetables and so I wanted to since I don't um I love romaine lettuce and I like spring lettuce as well but I've never really had um uh like spinach and stuff like that and I thought it was kind of interesting that most people were blending or juicing spinach and so I wanted to see um, what the health benefits of spinach was and if it could help me which I'm pretty sure it could because it's a green leafy vegetable and according to everybody <laughs> it's like a super green so I'll tell you a little bit about some of the fruits and vegetables that I went on ahead and purchased so that I can start making green smoothies on a daily basis, basis so that I can, you know, heal my body from the inside out, drop some weed, and, it's, and just try to, you know, just heal myself from the inside out and see if that'll work to helping me conceive. So spinach, 
One cup of spinach has 20% of fiber, which aids, of course, in digestion. Um, spinach also has some wonderful cancer, anti-cancer properties. And it slows down the cell, slows down the cell division in humans, in the human stomach and skin cancer cells. It also has vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotene, magnesium, zinc, and I don't know how to pronounce that word. It does regulate um, inflammation if you have any kind of inflammation in your body. Um, it effectively lowers your blood pressure, which is really, really good, especially when you're trying to conceive and if you're pregnant. Um, it helps with your vision, which as you guys see, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> it protects your eyes from cataracts, which is really great because my grandmother had cataracts and I don't need to go that route. And it does have vitamin A. It strengthens the mucous membranes, the respiratory urinary tract and intestinal tracts, and it helps your white blood cells. It also prevents skin issues such as psoriasis and acid and even wrinkles. It strengthens your bones, it prevents calcium from forming in your tissue, and it helps fight cardiovascular disease and stroke. It also helps the nervous system and brain function. So if spinach is not a super green, I don't know what is. All right, moving right along. Blueberries. I don't like to eat blueberries, but I will drink blueberries. <laughs> And so one of the one, some of the very, very beneficial health benefits in blueberries are, blueberries are extremely rich in antioxidants. It, um, it aids in reducing belly fat, which I need help with. It helps promote urinary tract health. It preserves the vision. It helps the brain help. It prevents heart disease, constipation. It helps with your digestion and it prevents cancer. Strawberries are in the berry family. I love to eat strawberries and drink strawberries as well, so that's not an issue. One cup of strawberries contains 43 calories. It has fiber that helps lower blood pressure. It has antioxidants, and it's an anti-inflammatory as well. It is rich in B-complex group vitamins. It's great for your bones, eyes, and it helps with proper brain function. It is an anti-aging. Um, it also contains biotin, which helps, of course, if you are in the natural hair community, it helps with your hair growth and nails. Um, and it protects the elastic fibers in the skin and prevents sagging. So strawberries are the bomb. That's just like beauty in a fruit, <laughs> you know, so to speak. Mangoes. Mangoes prevent cancer. It lowers cholesterol, clear skin. It promotes great eye health, and um, it helps with diabetes. It improves your sex drive. Mm, mangoes. Um, it improves digestion, and it's a remedy for heat stroke, and it boosts the immune system. Last but not least, these are just my ingredients that I'm just going to be, that I'm telling you guys about because I'm going to do a demonstration. I probably should have said that before. I'm going to do a demonstration on how I make my green smoothie. Last but not least, raspberries. Raspberries are rich in B, in B complex group. Um, it has vitamin K, very rich in B6 and folic acid, potassium, iron, and magnesium, vitamin C, and it's a powerful antioxidant. So, when your mother used to say, oh, you need to eat your vegetables and your fruit, you need to eat your vegetables and your fruit because they are packed with all kinds of nutrients and vitamins. And I'm in a situation where I need all the help I can get because because of my weight, I'm at risk for high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and a lot of different things. And so, I wanted to take this time out until I can get an appointment. Um with the the women's medical center that i was telling you guys about you know to get myself um on the right track i don't have high blood pressure and i don't have any of that stuff but of course because of my weight i am at risk for a lot of different things and part of me knows that my weight may play a factor 
in my issues with infertility. So if you're a thick sister like myself, you may want to consider changing your eating habits and that's what I'm I'm pretty much at a desperate point. You know, it may sound horrible, it may sound crazy, but that's where I'm at I'm at right now. So I'm like really on getting healthy, you know, putting the correct things in my body that will heal all the damage that I've done and help me to reduce a lot of this weight so that I can conceive because I honestly think that that might be the, the, the biggest issue with me. So, um, yeah, it was a hard cycle. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's just, I was just, and it's, and it's normal to feel that way. You know, I know a lot of people might kind of feel offended because I know some people did announce their pregnancy. But when you're struggling and you've been struggling for over a year, almost a year and a half trying to conceive, it's hard to, for a person to say, ah, I'm pregnant. I'm just like, ah, good for you. <laughs> it's not really to be rude. It's just that when you're struggling so hard and you really don't know what to do and, you know, you can't really afford all of the fertility treatments and the IVFs and all that other stuff, you pretty much have to just do whatever it is that you can do, you know, within reason, of course, to to see what you can do to, to, to conceive. And so until I find out specifically what my issue is, I'm going to do my part and um, try to get myself back on track. And um, so, yeah. That's pretty much it. And I have a little treat for you guys. But you'll see it in the, the next clip um, that I will uh, that will follow this one. And so I have a little treat for you guys. And so, but in the next clip, I'm going to do like a demonstration on how I do my smoothies. And this is what it looks like. It's been sitting for a while. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's pretty good. I like it. And so what you can do, you can see what kind of fruits and um, that you like. Now there are some fruits that are great with each other. There's some fruits that are weird with each other, like texture, taste wise. And so you can mix and match and try to play with the fruit to see what you like. You know what I'm saying? And you can make it as thick as you want. That's why I use, I use yogurt you know, with my, my smoothies because it creates like a thickness to it where you can replace a meal, you know, with it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this cycle. Um, my cycle came on cycle day 26. And so it came pretty much like it always does between cycle day 24 and 26, but I didn't get a flow until 26. And so, I'm, I think the only thing that I'm doing this cycle is I'm going to continue with my vitamin B6 and, and vitamin B12 vitamins that I take every day. I'm going to bombard myself with my green smoothie and um, of course continue with my exercise regimen and um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I may do OPK just so that I can know, you know, when... I um when I need to to BD and we BD pretty much every day but you know you're supposed to do it every other day during certain times and so we just want to be on track with that and that's pretty much it you know I I I'm just taking a break from you know Vitex and I used the ISO flavor nose for two cycles and it didn't really work as far as getting a BFP um so I'm not going to use that. So I'm just going to go through the natural route and see if it works for me. So let me know, guys, uh, what natural methods that you are taking to help conceive um, as far as, like, your diet, what are you eating, you know, things that you feel like can help me, you know, because I'm just at a point where I'll do anything at this point within reason. <laughs> You know so that we can conceive within the next few months so our goal is to conceive by Christmas and so this summer we'll be of course going to the doctor and getting a an official diagnosis but until I get to the doctor I really want to drop you know a little you know some weight before I get there and get all of my insides correct so my blood work won't look like 
<laughs> you know, and it's a lifestyle change. It's not, I know the title says fertility diet, but it's not really a diet. It's just a lifestyle change, something that can help. And with a lot of these fruits that are especially that help with, you know, inflammatory, you know, inf inflammation and stuff like that. It's something that I will continue through pregnancy to help me, you know, my cholesterol so you don't get preeclampsia and just it just it's just gonna help me be a lot more healthier so that's pretty much it I hope I didn't offend anybody if you did get your BFP congratulations but um, I'm better now but I'm, I'm in a very 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 hard place right now cuz I'm getting aggravated getting just I'm tired of the process but we're not giving up but sometimes you feel like feel like giving up and there's nothing wrong with it um, you just, your spouse, <laughs> whoever you, you know, whoever your spouse is, is like very important because they, they, they should be there to support you and help you and mine has been a great support and help with me. So stay tuned for my demonstration of how I make my wonderful green smoothie and I will see you guys next week. God's will life last for ovulation week. And that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. I have jury duty. I have jury duty on Wednesday. <laughs> I don't like get picked. <laughs> I just want to be on somebody's jury. Just, you know, you just want to do something different in life. But, yeah, I got jury duty. I can't believe I got jury duty. But, anyway, you yeah, don't care about that. But, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Stay tuned for my, my surprise guest in my next clip. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me. I'm gonna do the demonstration um, for how we do our, how my version of a green smoothie. But I have a special guest and he's here. Hello. That's husband. Say hi, honey. Hello, America. <laughs> he's not American. <laughs> how would you, from a guy's perspective, <laughs> encourage your wife during this process like by what by being supportive by being supportive and helpful and helpful very good dear bye bye okay wait you gotta hold the camera so i can do the smoothie oh wow okay all right, all right everybody this is what we're gonna do now you can use any product you want but of course we are hundred ears we're not thousand ears yet so we're gonna use smoothies, but the first thing we're gonna do is use any green. Now this is, the bag is torn, which is why I have it. It's a spinach, don't touch anything. Just film, spinach, okay? And what I do with the spinach, I just take one little handful, depending on how big your hand is, like that, and I just wash it off. Like so, and then of course you have to put a base because you want it to blend properly. So what I do is I just put like a little bit of water. This is like a measuring cup, but it's like a, just put half a cup of water in there. And as you can see, my blender is not one of those $300 blenders. It's a very inexpensive blender. We won't say the other word, the C-H. EAP word, but it was a wedding gift, so it's our blender. So yeah, so I'm just gonna blend it. Until it becomes like liquid green grass, which is pretty much what it is. And then you just add in your, your, your fruit. And so I have here, raspberries and the raspberries are good because it it takes the edge off of that grassy type taste and so in order for you to be successful at a green smoothie you have to be able to mask the the taste of the the greens and so you just put you know as many strawberries as you want i like to have my um my green smoothie with the consistency of like ice cream super thick and so which is why I dig the oops that's why I dig the the frozen veggies 
better than the um the fresh. And I do have some um fresh stuff, but frozen are a lot more inexpensive. So if you're a hundred air like myself, you gotta go for what you can afford. Now these are bananas that I bought the other day, and I just cut them up and I froze them. All right, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and of course I use yogurt. You don't have to use yogurt, but I use yogurt because it just makes it more creamy. And of course Activia is the bomb, so I like to use Activia. So I just put the Activia on top. So what it. does it do? Well, this pretty, this smoothie pretty much, it's like, it's just good for you, you know, because we're supposed to have a certain amount of vegetables and a certain amount of uh, fruits and vegetables servings a day. And realistically, most people don't like vegetables. Most people don't like to eat certain fruits, and I'm one of those people. I have my favorites. I have some fruits that I just can't stand to eat, but I will drink. And so it's good for me because I... The only issue that I have, of course, is my chunkiness and I have some swelling in my, my ankles and feet. And by me drinking the greens, the greens, of course, give you nutrients that pretty much heal you from the inside out. You get nice, long, beautiful nails, your hair grows. This is not mine, I purchased this. But, you know, you get the idea. And of course, I'll, I stated earlier what the nutrients with all of the different nutrients that are in all of these things. So, now that we have our wonderful concoction here, we're gonna go on ahead and blend. And of course, since this isn't one of those high-tech Tight blenders, we have to help it along. Just be careful when you're doing this. You don't have to stick it way in, just be enough to get it moving along so that all the stuff can get blended up nicely. consistency where it's like kind of like um, ice cream really really thick so you can kind of trick yourself into eating ice you know like you're eating ice cream but you're really not you just have a wonderful blended green smoothie and this is what it looks like it's super thick and that's exactly how I love it just like ice cream it looks like hell but it tastes so good and it's so good for you and not to worry if you're worried about having to run to the bathroom. Now, I don't know. When I first started doing this, it didn't bother me bowel-wise as far as me having to chase to, you know, run to the bathroom after I drank it. But um, for those who never eat vegetables, then you, you might have to um, go to the which is not good, which is, which is perfect because... People always like, oh, you gotta go to the bathroom. Nothing's nothing wrong with having a bowel movement. If you don't have have a bowel movement, what's wrong with you? But this is how we make our green smoothie. Not all. This is what it looks like, nice and thick, and that's pretty much it. So, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you want um, just some ideas of recipes and you know how to mask like different vegetables with different fruits and stuff. Just leave a comment or a question down below or just email me and I'll be more than happy to answer you. So I'll see you later. Say bye, honey. <laughs> Say bye. Later. All right. I don't know when y'all going to see him again. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and air grease. Bye.